A couple of weeks ago, I got this parcel from AutoCAM. When I opened it, I found two boxes which have the camera module. It is a very small camera module called AutoCAM Mega Camera. These are two different camera modules, one with a 3 megapixel feature and the other with a 5 megapixel. They both have an SPI interface which means it requires only four wires apart from VCC and DND for communication. Both of the cameras look similar though the difference is in pixel resolution and autofocus feature. In this tutorial, we will go through the camera design, specification, pinout and the method to use it. We will use it with Arduino Uno board, then with ESP8266 and also with ESP32 Wi-Fi module. We will explore all the features like video streaming, image capturing, autofocus, auto exposure, auto gain, brightness control, special effects, white balance, EV control, saturation control and all other features. Therefore, this guide is going to be very very interesting. So without getting any delays, let's get started. Do you want professional PCBs like this one that looks so good then use the services of next PCB. You can select the board size, any solder mask color that you want including something like red and green. You can select the thickness and the PCB could be from 2 up to 32 layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcb.com then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your cover files and order now. And receive the PCB in a couple of days. Welcome back again. Let us see this camera's module now. One of the camera module is 5 megapixel and the other one is 3 megapixel. This camera is a legendary camera solution that helps you connect one or more cameras to any microcontroller with the least effort. It is basically targeted for battery powered IoT devices, embedded machine vision and artificial intelligence application. In our project, we will use 5 megapixel audio cam for practical demo and testing. Inside the box, there is a camera module with a 5 megapixel resolution. This means it can capture a maximum resolution of 2592 cross 1944 pixels. No memory is required for registering setting or frame buffers. It is fully compatible with 3.3 volt and 5 volt system with a typical power consumption of less than 1 watt. It operates at a speed of 8 megahertz and has an optical size of 1 by 4 inches. It has a fixed focal length of 3.3 mm and a view angle of 68.75 degrees diagonally. The output format it gives is RGB, YUV or JPEG. It can work with any microcontroller with a single standard SPI interface. The camera can be directly used with Arduino, STM32, ASP8266, ESP32 or other MCU systems. On the back side of this camera, there is a mounting screw for mounting it to any surface. Coming to the pinout part, it has 6 pins which can be seen from left to right as VCC, GND, SCK, MISO, MOSI and CS. Thus the controller requires only 4 pins for communication. Inside the box, we also get a connecting interface wire of 6 pins. This wire can be directly connected to the camera module. And the other end of the wire can be connected to the microcontroller unit whether using a breadboard or a wire connection. The best thing about the camera is you can use more than 4 camera modules at the same time for still images and read out in a sequential way. This is the official website of this camera module called as AutoCam. You can visit this link and get to learn more about the camera module, its features, application and capabilities. While making this video, the product is not launched yet, but in the coming days, you can directly order the camera from here. Now let's move to the practical part of this product. There is an official SDK released by AutoCam for this product. The SDK is a C and C++ package containing convenience classes and functions that help in most common tasks while using AutoCAM Mega API. Alright, the library for this AutoCAM camera is based on same SDK. You can visit this GitHub repository and download the library from this link. The library supports Arduino boards, ESP boards, STM32, MSP430, Raspberry Pi Pico and other boards. After downloading this library, open your Arduino IDE, go to include a library and then add a zip library. 
Select the library you recently had downloaded. So the library has been added successfully now. Now go to files then examples. In the examples you will see a AutoCAM Mega Main option. Navigate to this and you will see so many examples for Arduino Duo, ESP32, ESP8266, Microvid, Nano 33 BLE, Arduino Uno, Arduino Mega and PyPico. We will be using these ready-made examples to test our products. Alright, we also need a tool or GUI software to visualize camera images and videos. So download a software called AutoCAM Mega from this official link. Once downloaded, click on install. The installation will take time and finally when installation is done, you can open the AutoCAM software. Please go through this software UI to learn about the camera use case. It has all the features similar to the mobile phone camera with all the necessary settings. Now let us interface the AutoCAM Mega Camera with Arduino Uno. The official SDK supports Arduino Uno, Mega and Dio boards. In our case, we will use Arduino Uno R3 board. Here is a connection diagram that is pretty simple. We will power the camera module with Arduino 5V pin. The rest of the connection are the SPA connection. I used jumper wires to connect the camera directly with the Arduino board. You may use your own custom PCB. Now in the Arduino ID, go to tools and from this list select Arduino Uno board. Also select the COM port for communication. Then go to file, then examples and from these sketches select the Arduino Uno full featured example. Now upload this code to the Uno board. To visualize and use the camera, open this AutoCAM Mega software. On the left side first, select the COM port, then the baud rate of 921600. Click on open to connect your camera. Now click on the video. Immediately the camera will start sending the image stream to the computer. Therefore, you can move the camera in different direction to see everything on GUI screen. This is a simple video streaming with the size of 320 cross 240. You can change the resolution as well. Close the video streaming now. Now to capture the image, click on the image. So it will take time to generate an image file. Finally, an image has been captured. Now you can save this image. I saved it on my desktop and then opened it. The quality is not so bad. Apart from capturing images and streaming videos, you can change the image resolution and also video dimension. You can change the image format to RGB, YUV, JPEG. The software also has the exposure control feature. By default, auto exposure is enabled. You can use the manual exposure by turning up the auto exposure. Even the gain control can be adjusted. Auto gain is enabled by default. Manual gain can change the image view. You can also increase or decrease the brightness of the image you are capturing. The contrast control feature is available to control the image contrast. The software also has EV control, saturation control, special effects control, white balance control, and focus control. Remember, the focus control is only available for 5 megapixel cameras. If you want to learn more about this software, you can check all the options. Now, let us interface the AutoCAM Mega Camera with ESP8266. The Note MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module is best for this application. It has a 3.3 volt logic level. Hence, we will use 3.3 volt as VCC. Here is the connection diagram to connect ESP8266 with AutoCAM Mega Camera. I used jumper wires to connect the camera again. Here is my simple connection. On your Arduino ID, select Node MCU 1.0 board from the Tools menu. Then select the COM port. From example, open an ESP8266 best case. Upload this example, skate code to ESP8266 board. Once uploading is done, again open the AutoCAM software. Then click on con Connect. Then let us stream the video. So streaming our video is successful. You can use all features that you used for Arduino board.
At last, let us interface the Autocam Mega Camera with ESP32. The ESP32 Wi-Fi module is very fast and the best controller for this camera. It has a 3.3V logic level, hence we will use 3.3V HVCC. Here is the connection diagram to connect ESP32 with Autocam Mega Camera. I again used jumper wires to connect the camera. Here is my simple connection. On your Arduino IDE, select ESP32 Dev module from the Tools menu. Then select the COM port. From example, open ESP32 full featured sketch. Upload this example sketch, go to ESP32 board. Once uploading is done again, open the AutoCAM software. Then click on connect. Then let us stream the video. So streaming video is successful. You can use all features that you used for Arduino board. This camera is compatible with Arduino ESP32, ESP8266, MSP430, Raspberry Pi Pico. The complete project details including device information, purchase link, source code and written guide can be followed in the how to electronics website article. In case you have any other questions, you can comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.